What's up gamers? Today we're going to be playing Tabs Totally Accurate Battle Simulator Sandbox with recommendations from my friend Unslit. So, we're going to go to Farmer 1 and see what's what. Alright, so in this game there are several factions. There's a tribal faction, farmer faction, medieval faction, ancient faction, viking faction. There's a lot of factions. Dynasty faction, renaissance faction. Pirate faction, spooky factions, and secret factions. How far did you get in the tutorial? <laughs> okay, so. This is a fucking. That's how you do it, man. That's just how you fucking do it. All right. <laughs> Have you ever seen the secret units in this game? Well, there, there's um, there's this guy called a ballooner. There's a guy with called a bomb on a stick. That that's just interesting. There's the teacher. Uh, raptors, fan bearers, jesters. Jesters are kind of a joke, ironically. I, I mean, not ironically, I don't know. Um, but th they're really fucking bad, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> There's the executioner, taekwondo, uh, cheerleaders, mace spinners. Holy shit, I gotta show you. Okay, are you gonna watch this video? Like, after I publish it? Okay, okay. I will show you this fucking amazing thing where it's like... You put like a fuck ton of um, cheerleaders and then a mace spinner. So the thing that cheerleaders do is it increases the speed of attacks and stuff, you know? So, <laughs> okay, if you put a fuck ton of like cheerleaders with a mace spinner which spins around, you could actually make like a fucking tornado. <laughs> Alright, I'll show you. Aw, oh, damn, that wasn't, that wasn't good enough. Okay, I gotta add more troops on the other side so he doesn't get instantly annihilated and I can show off the tornado effect. <laughs> Literally is like a fucking vortex that sucks in every single character. Oh, the, the fucking clubbers actually ended up winning that one. What were you nervous about? <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, she's playing um Skyrim right now, so yeah. This is not a good map to do this, but like I want to see a bunch of fucking raptors take down a mammoth, just like in the olden days, you know. That's, that's how it went. Uh, let's go to the Viking Age, cause that, that's where raptors and mammoths belong, <laughs> not in the fucking tribal age, you know. How many raptors should I do? Say a number. All right, seven. Lucky number seven. Fun fact, seven is my lucky number. Let's see if seven raptors can take down mammoths. Jeez Louise, the mammoth just fucking killed like three at once and then <laughs> proceeded to stomp to death the rest. <laughs> Clearly we need se seven more raptors. Oh my gosh, these raptors are some goofy motherfuckers, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so 14 raptors is how many it takes to kill a mammoth, probably. I don't know, I wasn't alive back then. Probably, let's just assume. I wonder how many gods it takes to take down a mammoth. Probably just one. I mean, fucking Artemis is god of the hunt, you know? Yep. I feel like they n Oh my gosh. This this Artemis has the tiniest fucking head.
I mean, to be completely fair to you, Skyrim is an easy game to break. <laughs> Okay, between Zeus and Artemis, who do you think would win? Yes, you're right. I feel like... What? I feel like Zeus should win this, like, battle, you know? Because it's like, he's fucking god of, like, gods, you know? But nope, <laughs> fucking sucks. Okay, I think there's another. I think there's another god in this whole thing. He's like another like fucking. What what you call it? Um, secret unit. I don't. I might not even have him. That fucking sucks. Damn. That that sucks. I don't. I don't have the other god. I know there's another god, but I can't remember where you get him and stuff. Yeah, he's kind of sucks too, though. The best god is by far Artemis, and you can't even use her in the fucking campaign. Can you believe that? I know it's because she's stupid, fucking overpowered. She is too OP, but like none of the secret units can be used. But you know who else is fucking stupid OP? This fucking sword caster. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I wanted to try. I wanted to try fucking, um, a sensei versus a sword thrower because, like, they both have pretty high rate of fighter fire at about the same range, you know? So. Yeah. Okay, I think... Wow, I'm actually surprised. So the sword caster only costs a thousand, right? And the samurai, or the sensei, costs 3,000, so <laughs> sword, sword guy actually ended up winning. Like I said, about the same range. I'm going to try a fuck ton of these guys, because, like, sensei is kind of, like, low health type deal, you know? And then, let's see, sword caster, stew, bell, yeah. 31 of those as well. This is going to break my fucking game with all the projectiles. I swear to God. <laughs> Holy fuck. I really wish you could see my screen right now, because there's just a fuck ton of, like, um, s throwing stars and swords on the screen. <laughs> just like a pile of fucking dead bodies with all that shit on it. <laughs> uh. I've never seen the pumpkin catapults before. Let's let's check those out versus regular catapults. Why not? I mean, makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> it's because like, okay, I feel like blue only won that because the fucking regular catapults just went straight across, whereas the pumpkin catapults kind of arced and stuff. But they killed each other about the same time, you know. Which is just a big oof on the red part. Yep, see, fucking blue's gonna win every time. Cause like, I don't know, I'm, I'm stupid I guess. Fuck. <laughs> just, just try a bunch of fucking archers against each other. Firework archer on one side. Oh, my favorite balloon archer. Snake Archer. Wait, no, it didn't work. Alright, and Skeleton Archer. Boom. Easy. And it's a red victory. <laughs> 
I mean, you gotta admire this guy's dedication. He shot him while he was in the air, so. Congrats, balloon archer. I mean, ice archer. I don't fucking know anymore. But the snake archer took out two of them, so I'd say he's the real MVP. Even while he's, like, burning to death, like a heretic, you know? <laughs> Firework Archer, you bring shame and dishonor to your family. Okay, I think it's because, like, two of them... I should switch... Yeah, I'll switch the Ice Archer and the Balloon Archer. So that it's a little more even, because... Yeah, Ice Archer is a little more instantaneous, as opposed to the Balloon Archer. Balloon Archer is really fun to use, though. And I used the wrong fucking unit like a dumbass. What? <laughs> what are you even talking about? Oh my gosh. I thought you didn't drink soda. What compelled you this time? So what's the occasion? Wish you luck on that. <sighs> For being literally the worst unit in the game, I sentence you to the death sentence. Yeah, firing squad. Death via firing squad. Okay, that. Since I accidentally took control of that unit, you get it again. I ain't gonna lie, that's kind of a beautiful like lineup when they're just all perfectly in sync, firing on one target. It's beautiful, just watching this guy get fucking yeeted across the board. Let's do it like back in the olden days when guys would line up and just shoot at each other. <laughs> this is the fucking most boring fight ever. Just set up a line of musketeers against each other, you know? And like, I did not, I don't hear anything. Let's try 25, just like um the Revolutionary War. Despite popular belief, only 25 men fought in the Revolutionary War. Holy fuck. Alright, second line, go! Oh yeah, it takes like fucking 14 seconds for these guys to reload. I swear to god. Oh, oh, we're seeing some reloads. Now this is more interesting. Never mind, this is back to being boring. This is, this is just twice the amount of fucking reloads because there's more people. And there we go. <laughs> it was not fast enough. I wish they like brought a whole, a whole ass revolutionary set, you know? I think you could kind of make like a makeshift revolutionary war type thing, you know? So you got your British guys and stuff all lined up, you know? But you also got fucking cannons. Let's see. And then, fuck, what else did they have? They had horsemen, right? Cavalry units. There, There's cavalry units, ain't there? I'm like 90% sure there's cavalry units. There's jousters. Ah, uh, yeah, she can't forget the fucking, like, kamikaze bitches who were on the front lines. And then we have the American side with 
like fuckers in the trees and shit cause you know that's just how the fucking like Americans roll you know the guerrilla warfare and shit and then we get our asses kicked in Vietnam by like revolutionary <laughs> by like guerrilla warfare tactics and we're like what how did that happen And then, yeah, these look like fucking Americans right here. Fucking, like, wearing barrel armor with fucking shotguns. Yeah. True Americans. We had some cannons up in this bitches, too. We had a fucking tank. Yeah, this is all coming together. Then we send the intellectuals in first to get, like, bombed. Yeah, now now we got ourselves a real revolutionary war. This is exactly how the revolutionary war was. Get fucked, Britain. <laughs> I swear to God. These these fucking like blunderbuss fellers just shot their own teammates to death and peppered them with fucking like a billion projectiles at once. <laughs> That took way longer to set up than it lasted, so I kind of hate it. And behold, the plot of Up. I believe in you. Aw, oh, man. Didn't even get to see him, like, go up. Like, the hit movie, Up. Huh. Yeah. Are you disputing that it was not a hit movie? <laughs> well, to be fair, me neither. I mean, no fuck, it was popular. It's a fucking Disney movie. Those movies are always popular. <laughs> Jeez Louise, this, this, this elephant is, is getting me. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of hate Disney. Like, I like Pixar just fine and stuff, but I just hate Disney. Like, I don't like Disney movies, you know? At this moment, I'm just trying to send, like, random ass units into the sky using balloon archers. And how, like, okay, so since you can't see this right now, how balloon archers work is they shoot an arrow that has a balloon attached and stuff, and it'll just send a unit up in the sky. But depending on how the size of the unit, it takes more balloons. So that's, I'm just trying to fucking see how many it takes to send this fucking mammoth into space. Yeah, ancient space program, you know? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, it, ah, oh, fuck, it almost worked until the fucking archers killed it. <laughs> and here I lie on a crucifix of balloons. <laughs> oh, jeez. Aren't you supposed to be like the dragonborn in that game? Aren't you supposed to deal with dragons? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. 
Yep, that that'll that'll kill a guy. Jeez. I swear. I feel like these balloons are like a helium molecule or something. I don't know. I I don't know how to describe it, but like it's it's, it's weird. I want to see if they like drop right on top of the archers. These bomb guys. Nope. They're just dropping straight down. Pussies. Oh, I have I have a brilliant fucking idea. Okay, horde of guys with bombs on sticks versus a fuck ton of halflings this can't go wrong <laughs> I think I only saw like five explosions go off that's BS I wanted to see more let's, let's, let's see where the fuck are the bomb guys again where are the suicide boys? Oh, here they are. Secret units. I, I thought they were pirates, to be honest. I think they might be pirates, and that's where you find them. The pirate map, you know? But I can't remember. Oh no, it's it's 9-11 all over again. Except more grounded, and with way less people, and not 9-11-y at all. I, I don't know. What would be an accurate description? World War Two, Vietnam, maybe? I don't know. This is the way. Come on, Blue. Come on, slice his ass. Fucking chop his face off. Come on. Do video games cause violence? Yes. <laughs> ha! I knew uh, I knew you were the better jouster, Blue. I believed in you. All right, Blue. Since you won that one, you get to go up against Executioner with his giant ass axe. Parry that shit. Fuck yeah, you parried it, and then you didn't parry the second one, dumbass. Executioner, you won. You get to go against the blue man. Oh my gosh, I just realized these guys have these cute little masks. Oh wait, no, they're goggles. Dumbass mode strikes again. <sighs> Alright. Name a country. Name a country. Okay, U.S. of A. Uh, let's see, what's in the U.S.? A lot of farmers, right? Farmers, obesity, is there any fat units? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with hay balers because they're kind of fat, but that's mostly because they're armor, I suppose. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's really hard. Alright, I'll put a mammoth to represent America. Oh, here here's a fat guy. Okay. Ice giant. Because he's fat. Ice giants are fat. And then we'll go against the slim Asians with their fucking throwing stars.
oof, it looks like Japan's superior to us because they just took them out. Unless... We'll defeat them like we bought them, defeated them in World War II with lots of bombs. And I accidentally put some on their side. Fuck, they have bombs too. Oh no, our bombs didn't work on Japan. But do you really feel more accomplished? Oof. I bet the teacher is going to kick this squire's ass. Yeah, he just dodges. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I thought you were playing Skyrim, not Elder Scrolls. Is that how that game... Is that the full title of that game? I thought it was just like Skyrim, and then Elder Scrolls was like a completely different game. I guess I'm just dumb. Hmm. Oh, I'm thinking of Dark Souls. That's the separate game. That's kind of like with the same aesthetic, I guess? Dark Scrolls. Wait, so is the point of, like, Skyrim to get all the Elder Scrolls? I'm kind of confused by that whole thing. Now, I mean, can I really call myself a gamer if I did not fucking know that? Can I really call myself a gamer if I suck at video games? <laughs> Dude, I think this is like... What was that one guy who, like, tried to cheat death or whatever? He was, like, a king. Do you know? I don't know either. I'm tempted to look it up, but I don't know. But, like, that, that felt like an epic fight. Like, you know, the king facing down death and stuff. Alright, let's make this a little more cool. The king with his attack raptors. Holy shit, that's so fucking cool. What the hell? Like, okay, Reaper is like now my um, main in Overwatch and also my favorite tabs unit. Because like, that's just metal as fuck. Does he do that with like every unit he kills? I'm, I'm wondering. Okay, let's see. Six raptors. That raptor is a little special, but that's okay. We still love him. Well, duh. Reaper is like literally the antithesis to. Aw. Babe, does that mean that like we're supposed to go against each other? Because I'm a Reaper main and you play tanks? <laughs> we're mortal enemies now. Well, damn. You know, this has just evolved into seeing me seeing how many like raptors can it takes to take down the Grim Reaper, <laughs> essentially. Cause like at first I just oh 
Oh my god, this guy's just like jumping like a fucking retard. I love him. You're. You know, I don't want to see you die, man, because you're just so happy to like be alive. So I'm gonna have to like get rid of you. Oh, same with this guy. <laughs> Damn it. I need serious rapper raptors. Raptor raptors in order to try and take on the Grim Reaper. You know what? They should just make like death unkillable in this game, cause like that would make no sense if like he could be killed. You know. So far, it, 31 raptors still gets decimated easily. Let's try 50, because, like, I think 50's... No, I, my computer's still running pretty fine. Oh, okay, it's just a pile of raptors on top of the Grim Reaper, and he's skewered, like, five of them. And he's still one. What the fuck? Oh wow, <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. What are you studying for? Okay. I didn't know you were in Bochart's class. I thought you were just like in um whatever that fucker's name is, I can't remember. Like the other one that shares his class? I don't know. Yeah. Oof. Hey, do you think 80 rappers, raptors? Fuck, I keep saying rappers when I meant raptors. Do you think 80 raptors are going to be able to de defeat the Grim Reaper? This isn't even fair, like, this guy's so fucking powerful. He still won against 80 raptors, and I don't think my computer can take any more raptors, because it's starting to slow down. Okay. <laughs> what are you trying to do? You know Maybe I could just keep like death perpetually suspended in space with balloon archers instead of having to actually like face him, you know? Oh, that actually like imploded him or some shit cuz like what what the fuck? Oh, and there's his little skull with just like X's. So balloon archers have officially defeated death. Well, if that worked with 50, then maybe 30? Let's try 30. Hmm. So, balloon archers... Okay, 13 balloon archers is about the same cost as one reaper, so... Oh, oh, okay, he's just scaring him with his tentacles. I've seen enough hentai to see where this is going. <laughs> you know, it would surprise me if there isn't a hentai starring the Grim Reaper, to be completely honest with you. I'm, like, sure that's the thing, too. Japan, what are you doing? I forgot how the jester actually attacks. Oh, he attacks like a dumbass doing flips and shit. I hate it. I hate it. I want to see this fucker die. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my gosh, this guy's... <laughs> Uh, you found Cicero again? Mm. 
Who, Cicero? Who, Cicero? I don't know who you're talking about. I mean, from, like, what I've seen of, like, you playing it and stuff, it's like, yeah, that guy seems sketchy as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, blow him off the edge of the map. That's not Yandere. I think that's just Ed Kemper. Or not Ed Kemper. Ed Gein. You know, the fucker they based Texas Chainsaw Massacre off of? Alright, well, with that, I am completely fucking out of ideas for what to do in this game for now, so leave your suggestions in the comments, and have a jazzy day. I'm gonna be signing off here. Good night.